As you guys can see on the wall behind me, today we were talking about LED violins, the light up violins. Clients love these, audiences love these. There are options, so let's talk about them. In stock right now, we've got five different violins by four different manufacturers. This is the OG right here, the Aurora Classic. This instrument is available in black or white in five strings or four strings. And of course it's got RGB LED control in the back. These are not super bright. Under really bright stage lighting, the LED colors here are gonna disappear a little bit, but the instrument still looks awesome. And in a darker environment, these look incredible. Kind of the newer cousin to the classic is the Silhouette made by the same folks in Brazil, Aurora. It's gonna have the same options, four string, five string, black and white on the body. And then it's also got RGB controls plus white in the back. Believe it or not, LED lights do require power to make them happen. So there's gonna be a battery inside this violin. And with the Auroras, it is inside the body of the instrument. You'll have to use a screwdriver to take this off. Then you can access and change that. It's a coin cell battery. You would be surprised how many people call us a couple months after buying their LED violin and they say, hey, it worked great at first and then the lights stopped working. Is it broken? Nope, you really do have to change the batteries. Now, the good news on these instruments, if the battery dies, all you lose is the lights. These are all passive instruments, so the signal is still gonna go through, your audience is still gonna get to hear you, they're just not gonna see lights anymore. This is the Prism by 3D Various. It's available in a number of colors and in four and five strings. Now the LEDs here are a little bit more complex than the ones on the Auroras. There's an on off switch here, and then you've got mode and brightness, and there's push button features on each of these. You can turn the knobs. There's a whole manual that'll teach you how to use it. Prism Violin has a little magnetic battery cover here. There's a nine volt battery inside for powering the lights. The USB connection here is to connect to the firmware in the instrument if there are some updates to the software that need to be made. That's how you do it. Some of the lighting modes on the Prism are sound active, others are not. Many of you may have seen the Spectra violins when we have those in stock. It's a little rare to have the actual violin in stock because the guy who makes these has another job and it takes a lot of time to make a violin from scratch. He can make a lighting kit that bolts onto a Yamaha YEV a lot faster though, and it has all of the same software and features as the Spectra violin. This is a two button control system with mode and color and brightness all in there. There's a manual to explain all of that. Some of the lighting modes on the Spectra kit are sound active, other ones are not. The cool feature on this is the wireless DMX control that allows your violin to be part of the light show if your lighting designer can figure out how to work wireless DMX. And the newest member of the LED Violin Club is OpenFab PDX. They've got a number of models that have LED strips built inside the violin, and they've got little panels, translucent panels on the front and the tailpiece and all that to where the light shines through, and it actually looks like it's coming from the inside of the instrument. This one requires an external battery to power the lights. You can just use any cell phone battery, and there's a USB-C connection right here. There's single button control on this to flip through the various different modes. Some of them are sound active, some of them are not. We put each one of these violins in a dark room and used a light meter to measure how many lumens are put out by each violin. The brightest is gonna be the Prism, and then the Spectra, and then the OpenFab PDX, followed by the Aurora violins. Now I know these are LED violins and they light up and they look cool and it's amazing, but they're also musical instruments, so what they sound like matters. So let's do a quick demonstration where we hear each one of these instruments.
Obviously, tone is subjective, just like aesthetics. So if you're going to be picking one of these instruments, you're going to want to balance price and tone and looks and what are the different features it has and how bright each one of them is. I know it's a difficult decision. I can't make that decision for you. All I can do is give you the information and then hopefully you can make an informed buying decision that's going to get the best instrument for your specific needs. And we're happy to help.